what strikes me as a key problem, and it's particularly in this country, the UK, but I think across other countries as well, is a growing distance from where food actually comes from. So the food that we see on the plate or in the larder or in the fridge is just what it is. It hasn't come from anywhere. Um, I've heard a story, it's probably apocryphal, about a, um, a child say, being asked where, um, uh, talking about the food that he, li he or she liked, and said, well, he liked the fingers of fish best. And I think that sort of hi highlights a problem. Um, and in, in some ways, it, it's a shame that we don't know where, where food comes from. But it also um, uh, causes problems that if, if you think that fingers of fish come from, or fish fingers come from fish, uh, and are prepared in a factory somehow, and, and that's all that there is to it, then there's an equivalence between, on the one hand, a milk in a bottle, because you don't know that it's come from a cow, and an unhealthy bag of um, snacks or something. So if you're not w aware of the difference between the two, you say, well, milk and a bag of crisps are made in a, a factory, so they're, they're equally problematic, um, or they're equally good. And uh, I think that is a, is a problem that is probably beginning to become more and more important as we get further and further distant from food coming from farms or the sea or wherever. Well, it strikes me it's all about education, quite frankly. The issue is an educational one, so whatever uh, can be done by way of education, and academia is in quite a good place to do that, um, it's, it's education. But it's probably, probably got to start w when people are very young, but I, I'm sure older people and well into old age uh, um, suffer from this problem. So educate. Again, I think it's uh, a similar issue. Um, it's about recognising that there is a problem and there are issues and uh, making people aware of, of um, what the reality actually is.